AM Frinfra is, is, is a project that tries to get uh, hands-on experience in, in, in the difficult concept of asset management. And we started this project two years ago just to learn from each other by uh, getting a kind of common language and a mutual approach for the asset management framework. It's an opportunity to develop a new way of managing our assets cross-border, uh, cross-modes, um, and within the sort of the existing environment of asset management in itself. We talk a lot about common language, uh, we talk a lot about optimizing risk, costs and performance, but what actually, how to do it, how to, to get people uh, in the conference of European directors, uh, basically all operators and managers of assets to understand what it is about. Living Lab is about getting all of the different infrastructure providers in an area. So instead of looking at one bit of road that stops and it starts again, you're looking at that corridor, that complete journey for your customer from end to end. This has been part of the Conference of European Directors of Roads, known as CIDR, and, to, and we've been hosting the executive board meeting. What we're doing today is something really different. Uh, we're actually involving the members that are of the executive board in a really important decision then that they will take when this final report is published. They will understand exactly the application of the Living Lab, what it is all about, and how that could be applied in their own National Road Authority. The Living Lab in Rome was a, a, a lovely day to share our results on the two deliverables of the World Package 3, the Asset Data Dictionary and the Business Blueprint of an information system about a, a system that shared the asset data information. So four different players, but a sole KPI, which is the level of service expected for a whole road stretch, including sections managed by different players. We had um, just planned another meeting with the, the stakeholder to uh, keep deeper, to analyze a possible project pilot to share our information between different agencies. In the Eindhoven uh, Living Lab, we had a focus on the uh, cross-border issues. And what we actually uh, noticed it is that for, for some uh, issues, you, you just need each other. You cannot resolve those problems just looking at your own uh, area or your own uh, organizational context. So, well, there was an absolute need to uh, discuss these things. And discussing these issues, uh, these cross-border issues, we also noticed that language is really important and knowing each other, so knowing the faces, uh, behind the persons responsible for those issues uh, and be aware of the terminology and the language used even though we speak Dutch on both sides of the border. The M4 is part of Highways England network but it also uh, joins us up with Wales and part of that road is, is, is managed by the Welsh Assembly. So actually what we're doing is getting a good amount of collaboration and cooperation between those authorities to make sure that we are trying to manage these assets in a more effective, joined up way. There were different aspects which are linked to your assets, for instance about risk, how you handle risk and connect it with uh, the expectations of the, of the users of the network and the financial aspect. That was very interesting. How mature you are uh, as an organization regarding digital um, innovations and things like that, it's really coming a lot. And we had a very good presentation also about uh, the project of M25 and here in London and that was too very interesting for us. And what you saw is with the dialogue sheet you saw people uh, sitting together and then the common language uh, uh, was very difficult because everybody understands a term differently. Quite the same but 
just a little bit differently. And then, and then what you see is that the, the dialogue starts and then we start to understand each other. And it was very successful, very energized, uh, very uh, positive and also a lot of uh, laughs. And that uh, humor helps to open up this dialogue and, and, and the, the sense that we, I want to relate with you. So what I get from this and what we've really achieved in Learning Lab is that we've started communicating with, those, uh, with the relevant people for this and also we have identified some drawbacks and some challenges that we both have and where we also have a common language. So that common language was one of the main themes that came out and how communication is quite important and that collaboration is the way forward. You know, wondering, okay, well, how would AM for Infra be the Magna Carta, the European Magna Carta of asset management uh, for infrastructure in the future? Maybe we haven't got there yet, uh, but it's certainly, you know, very interesting that we've we've started to form more of a common language, more of an exchange between the different organisations, between the different stakeholders. So at least we can start to understand things because we're not necessarily all trying to do things in exactly the same way. That's probably too big a, a target to achieve but at least we can start to understand how we are working together and, 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 and what the challenges facing all the different stakeholders are. The, the Living Labs are kicking off, uh, so this will be the, the setting in which uh, uh, successive uh, meetings will take place. And obviously they then will focus in, in more specific details. This was covering it all. Um, and, and I think in the, in the next months, uh, and I think even in the years, this, this living lab setting will continue to go. And then from that you will see uh, uh, the momentum building and more and more uh, living labs I expect to, uh, to emerge uh, to, to give that framework for dialogue. And that's how we make a, a difficult term like asset management tangible. Tangible for the operators and managers of infrastructure.